Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to Transport Fever. Sorry for the lack of episode last week. I had a bit of trouble with the recording and I decided to skip it to refresh. You know, things have been going pretty slow to be honest in the Transport Fever world. There have been no new updates for quite some time and the mods that are coming out. Well, there have been a few nice trains but nothing that really, you know, gave out a wow factor for me so I've been trying to uh, think of what we can do to liven up the situation how we can make this fresh again and I'm open to ideas guys but in the meantime let's work on some more optimizations and extensions on the line and let's see how much you like it if you enjoy do let me know but if you don't do let me know as well because I certainly want to hear your feedback right anyway so, I think it's time to upgrade our buses. As you can see, people are starting to pile up. Actually, I've been looking at the different cities and it seems like a constant thing. It's probably because we're using very old buses here. It's 1995 and we still have these. <laughs> when are these from? 1954, like how, how old is that? 40, 38 years old, something like that. So maybe something newer. What is something newer? That might be it. We can get a bendy bus, but I don't think demand calls for it. That's 15. Our current one has only 15 capacity. Uh, what are these? Oh, taxis. Oh yeah, that's true. I did download the mod for taxis. I haven't tried that yet. Maybe that's something we can try. I'm not sure how it works, but... We'll test it out. We'll test it out, right? One sec. First, let's upgrade the buses. Uh, not that one. This one we can. That's one step up. But it's only, that's only from the 1970s. Maybe something better. That is extremely expensive compared with the existing one we have. Like three times more expensive. And if you look at the line, it's not really earning most. Yeah. So it maybe we need an incremental upgrade, but nothing too fancy. And if it's nothing too fancy, then maybe this is the solution, the MANSL192. Let's try that. 2M, replace everything and that should at the very least improve the situation a bit. But maybe we'll need like, I don't know, two more buses? Because the frequency is currently, with the frequency is already 41 seconds, so it might be a bus capacity problem and if it's a bus capacity problem that might mean we need to maybe take a bendy bus in hmm anyway we'll see we'll see how it goes let's take a look at the other cities first yeah this one is yeah these ones are using the MEN already but there's still a lot of people in there so maybe this one calls for something more drastic one six, 16 passengers that one is 25 this one is actually 40 city buses you could take these ones you could replace them into bendy buses and see how that works so the, currently there are one two three four five buses made make them in all into bendy buses oh that looks so good that looks so good. Love the sound as well. Hopefully that helps. But with the amount of people in here, I think we'll need some more. Maybe, I don't know, two more? Not that one, this one. Berkov to Videk. Hopefully that's how you read that. And also here. Here we also need a, a bit, but not so much I think. Maybe ex expanding upgrading to mans should be okay sl192 good and then let's explore this taxi feature where should we do it i think i want to do it uh, in spring wolf that's where we have the trams so this is our like uh, our experimental city this is also where we have bus lines bus lanes we didn't have bus lanes in we don't have them yet in the other cities but maybe we can think of something all right taxi stand how does that work 
Let's say... Where do they want to travel? Let's say if you want to have... Is it like an intercity taxi or only within the city? That's something I'm not sure of. Let's maybe take the... The other routes. But I have a feeling it's going to be the same. I have a feeling it's going to work just like a bus that you have to set a line. And that kind of defeats, defeats the purpose of having a taxi, right? Because you, you would need to... The purpose of having a taxi is so you can direct, change the route. There is no fixed route. It depends on where the passenger wants to go. Look at that. Just built a small road there. So what I can do as an experiment, just to try it out, is to put this taxi stand maybe right here. There. And then put one more. Let's say one here. Over here in the outskirts maybe. And let's see how that works. So... If the task stands in here, do we also make a line? It does look like it. So one stop and two stops. Yeah, that does seem like it, huh? And that's not really a very helpful line. But let's try it anyway. Let's try it anyway. Now I'll need a depot because I just realized that my depot here is just the tram depot. I don't have a normal taxi. So we'll have to build one of these road depots. Put them somewhere empty, maybe here. Should be okay. Yeah, that seems to blend in well. And let's put in a taxi or two. Passenger. Taxis are these guys. What is this? ATCN, I think China, Germany, UK, US. What do you guys want? Let's have a look what kind of trams these are. The red ones. So we picked that one. This is Toronto. This is in Canada. And the one closest to Canada in our list here is US. I think so. Unless CN is Canada, but I think that's China. I have no clue. <laughs> Let's st just stick with US. Keep it safe. Right? And then go to the new line. Let's have a look how that. Is. Oh, yeah, they're taxes, alright. <laughs> that's cool. Although, yeah, it, they're, they're kind of fake taxis. They can only take up to four people. And, uh,. They kind of wait behind trams. And they have their stops as well. So it's, it's kind of... Hmm. Doesn't really play well into it, does it? Well, anyway, let, let's wait for it and let's see if any passengers will come. But I don't think so. I'm not really hopeful with that. What else? Optimization options. You can see this line is actually getting put pretty well developed already the one going back if you remember this route where we have goods being produced in this factory and at the same time we also have grain we're fooling the system here actually if you guys don't remember we have a farm here which produces grain the grain is put here taken by trucks taken around the place here because the grain is needed here to create some oil uh, some plastics rather but at the same time it has devised a way to take some grain here, the grains here, some are being put into use to create plastics, but some are actually being taken to this train station for goods. And being put on the train going back here, this train is going back to the food processing plant here. So in short, the grains here being produced in this farm is eventually ending up here anyway. But it's taking like the long way around and we're earning more money because of that. <laughs> it wasn't intentional, but that's what's been happening. So I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm not complaining. As long as we can really still take the goods in. That's, that's fine with me. 
right um what else what else Ooh, i think that's okay we can optimize this as well but you know what i've done so many different optimizations here but i don't think it's really earning much let's see no well, actually it is earning now look at that we're actually earning money if you, if you if i display all the lines we are actually earning money in all our lines except that one what is that yeah and except for the taxi line and everywhere else so if you look at the freight trains 4 million and 460k so the con mats is a bit uh, still a bit inconsistent but better than nothing anyway so i think i've had it enough of optimizing that that's earning money anyway so what we can do is continue the expansion continuing the expansion requires us to so we have a couple of options we re... the end of the line is currently in spring wolf here we can either go straight to lockwin which was just what i initially commented and uh, planned and i was initially planning on making a, like a circle line here like coming from wolfstone going around the entire area from to lockwin Summerhaven, Deep Castle, and then going back. But you guys commented that it's not really realistic. I mean, in a maybe in a city line, circle lines are pretty common. But imagine a long, a long, uh, how they say, long distance trains. They don't really circle like that, right? They they normally just go one 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 line or one straight path, not straight one path, and then going both directions. So I think we'll do that. We'll not push through with the circle, but we will probably... Let me see. It might actually be a bit more exciting if we try to connect to clear then. And I want to keep the this station, but I'm not sure if it's possible. It will be, it will be. Because I'm actually thinking... Let me, let me show you. Let's take four stations there. What I'm thinking of is creating... Actually, I just needed one, huh? Mm, and that's fine. Leave it at three in the meantime. What I'm thinking is... We have... If, you, if I want to connect Spring Wolf to Clearden via trains, I can either start from this direction, curve up, make a bridge maybe, curve up, and go around there. That might be the more sensical way to do it. Another way, which is a bit more insane, is going from this opposite side, Volvo 5000. We should have waited for that. Is going through this opposite side, going through like straight here, going up, and then crossing, <coughs> crossing these uh, tracks here, <coughs> and then crossing the water maybe, and then landing in the city. I'm not really sure which one I prefer. Let's try both. Let's try both. Maybe I could. If we're going here. What is that sound? That strong rumbling sound. Are those our taxis? Taxi. One passenger. Who knows? Maybe they'll earn money. <laughs> Who knows, right? Who knows? Anyway, so let's try to build something here i am a bit skeptical about this approach because we'll have to probably destroy a lot of houses but maybe we'll make it work somehow somewhere and if i want to go up nope it's not enough space for a bridge that is though so we can actually go straight like that. Get some of these fancy new bridges. But that is as much as we can go. Okay, let's get that. I like that. Now the thing here is we have to let's try pushing like this and then curving up. Now we'll have to pass through the, the road. Crap. That. That looks ugly as heck. 
that will cause massive traffic in here seeing how much the how many cars are traveling here i don't think that will work i think i'd rather go the opposite way let's clean that but that first and see right, so here let's let's try this this might prove to be a bit more exciting okay if i want to go up Can I? Yes, I can. Can I pick the new bridge? But if I pick it the new bridge, the bridges will look different. Maybe I can make this like that, but this one is different. Does that make sense? I guess. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, there. That works. Only thing is, can I directly go right like that? Okay, that... That doesn't work. I don't like that. Okay, so what we can do... Is I can make this very gradual. Like this. Pick the expensive bridge. Try it like that, and then cross over like so. <laughs> Does that look insane in any way to you guys? It looks fancy though. It looks a bit fancy to be honest. Uh, maintain the height. Can I go lower? Actually can, but we're going to cross that anyway, so I might as well keep this height. Yeah, keep that height. Does that work? I guess so. 80 speed though, it's not anything to brag. And then can I make one more crack? That's the question. Okay, seems like it's working. It's getting very expensive. But that doesn't look half bad, does it? I really like the, the crossing. Like when, when you have tracks which cross and go on top of each other. That looks so complicated. And it looks so com like something that was done by a pro. Even though it doesn't really make sense. So in here, what can you do? Like, look at that. 4.87 million. <laughs> GG. Uh, we can do that, I guess. I'd rather go through here though yeah we can go through here we can just like do a bit of curves like this keep it flat keep it elevated okay good good that you can still repeat it and then we can probably now the question is do we go anywhere else? I think this is the end, right? I don't think we'll go anywhere else with this. Because this is pretty steep. I mean, for sure we want to stop here. We create a terminal here. But then, do we go elsewhere after that? I think that's a dead end. Because Fallwald is like surrounded by super high mountains. And I don't think it will be advisable to create trains for them. Look at that road. <laughs> no, thank you. Even a truck, even a bus, a coach will have a hard time there, much less a train. Trains are not very good with elevation. Uh, keep the height until we cross the river. I guess that would make sense. It's, yeah. It's getting pretty expensive, I know. But what's money for if you don't use it, right? We have quite a bit anyway. 240 meters, number of tracks, just one. And then curvature, do we need it curved? Let's see. Unable to align terrain. That's that's not doesn't sound too good. Okay, that one works. That one works pretty well actually. Yeah, so why not connect there? 
Okay, I can push it back. There, perfect. Easy peasy. Now, we have to connect there. Can I just easily drag this over? Will you let me do that? Will you make my life easier and just look good? 2.88M. That is not half bad. I need to create a couple of bridges again, but... Bite the bullet. <laughs> Alright, and here, the second track, we just... Basically... Go and... Where do we merge? Let's, let's merge <clears throat> the last possible moment. Okay. And just trace it off. And we are good to go. Brand new line with that insane crossing like that. Hmm. I'm thinking if I could have done that a bit... A bit less dramatic. But I guess... I guess that's fine. It looks really good from here though. So I, I like that. I like things like this. And uh, I did promise you guys something. I did promise you guys that we will be... Oh, actually, I... I, I forgot something. I remembered that... We only need one line here. Like this. So we actually don't need this connection but that looks so ugly without it so let me just bring it back wow that looks even uglier now let's repeat that okay maybe that doesn't work there we go and just connect to here too much curvature there we go thank you perfect so we can actually build a depot here bumper as depot thingy there and i did promise you guys that we'll be testing out the jr trains so let's do this just that just one train for now because it's very expensive and i'm sure we'll be losing a lot of money here but if it's worth it, then fine. The JR205, Japanese Railway. It's a bit old. It's from 1984. And it does have a very low top speed, only 110. But the capacity is monstrous. It's perfect for heavy populated cities. Which is admittedly not this one. But still, I want to see it. Uh, let's create a new line from here. Connecting to here did you pick the, the right line yes you did good for you right so now it's coming out that is how it looks pretty simple looking i think we can actually change the, the color if you pick like red there to have a, like a red uh, highlight nifty isn't it pretty cool this JR pretty cool I like it nice oh racing actually they're going head to head aren't they although this guy will have to slow down pretty soon because of the curve but that looks so cool oh that looks so cool This is the reason why I want to play Transport to or things like this. And I'm so glad I got back into it again. Thank you guys for encouraging me. But as always, you need to take a photo. Because it's all about the photos, right? <laughs> Not really, but it's, it's a big part of the game, I would say. Admiring your handiwork and taking a photo of the scenery. Good. Now, I have no promises that that will work, but still, it looks good. Let's put one here, 
Let's just copy the signals actually. Speaking of trains, signals, and whatnot, what do you guys feel about trains in world? I'm sure like most of the people who are watching this series, you're probably train fans, right? But I'm not sure how much of a train fan you are. Like, are do you like trains because you want to drive them? Or do you like trains because you like creating the tracks and creating the networks for them? If you're playing Transport Fever, chances are you like the latter. But I'm wondering how many also like to see trains see me like I'm thinking basically I'm thinking if I should purchase train simroad if you guys would be interested in having a series with me driving a train clumsy training clumsy train driving was that the JR train sounds are pretty good actually sounds are pretty good Right, nice. Cool. Alright, we'll have to connect the city then. Because this is looking pretty sad. No one is riding because we haven't connected it this anywhere. Okay. 183k. Wow, that's a bit of a hill there. Well, it's fine. Right, let's get some stations in. We need uh, a small station. Do we need a roundabout? Not really. Just a medium station would do. So I guess we can do something like this. Right? Yeah, that blends in perfectly well. We could put in a depot over here. And we could add, let's have a look. How are we going to do this? We could do it like a clockwise and counterclockwise route, probably. Yes. So we can connect these two roads. Uh, I wish the snapping was a lot better. Okay, there you go. So I really want straight lines. I'm a fan of straight lines. Angular but straight lines, not too bendy. Okay, let's have a look at the zones. Uh, so in terms of bus stops, you would want people to be picked up from their houses, maybe have a stop here somewhere, right? Let and then you can stop here somewhere as well. Then we we can drop you guys off here at the center. And uh, maybe drop you also here off. And then we can also connect this, probably. That yeah, looks good. Wait a minute. Where can we do that? Here, maybe. That guy is lucky. He has. He's the only one here doesn't have any house near next to him and he has a bus stop right outside his home how VIP ish and we can have one there just for the future build up future developments right and then we can create a line and say this one goes that way and then we create another line which goes the opposite way to keep things realistic and complete good and let's have one more line going the exact opposite direction. We are missing this one though, but let's see. All right, good. I like that color. All right, so this is what city? Uh, what city are you? Clearden. Clearden. I like that name. Cleared in. Uh, bus clockwise. How do I say it? How do I do the naming convention? 
Okay, the, the taxis are for sure not working. Sell that and get rid of that line. Doesn't work. Uh, tram, okay, bus. Something, 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 something. Okay. So let's do that. Bus cleared in counterclockwise. Or anti clockwise, as some of you guys would say. They're both similar. I think they have, I think this is clockwise. Right? Yeah, that's clockwise. This is the other side. Bus clear then counterclockwise. Good. So now we have names, now we need buses. Passengers. Let's take the Volvo. Why not? Where is it? This one's. 18 passengers. Sounds good. Let's have it to each. Not too shabby. So at least we've connected the city now with the train and we actually have our first passenger. Not only first, we have seven passengers. Interesting. Good. So how's the train working out? The frequency is four minutes. Yeah, I think one train will do it for now. Let's wait for it to mature before we add any more. Hmm. What do you guys think of this line? <laughs> ah. For our uh, viewers who are familiar with the actual real train networks, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the most realistic. How realistic is that? <laughs> For me personally, I have no clue because I don't really know how these train networks work. Because trains aren't really popular in my side of the world. We don't have a lot of trains here in Asia, unlike in Europe, where trains are basically part of normal life. We have metros, but not trains. Good, looking good. Any passengers yet? Nope, none yet. So yes, what do you, what do you guys think about Train Simulator? Is that something you would enjoy watching? Like seeing the sceneries, uh, driving the trains, flipping switches, timing myself to brake properly and missing my brakes, things like that. What do you guys think about that? In here, I also want to do something actually want to connect this so let me know in the comments what you think and if people are interested I can go and get them I can go and get the copy especially now that there is actually a sale going on train sim world both for the actual game the CSX heavy haul with the which actually focuses on freight and the new DLC which is focusing on passenger Great Western Express was it? It's the UK line. Okay, that one. And what I actually was thinking of was creating a coach. Hmm, can we make, can we have a shortcut somehow? I'm thinking of a shortcut here. Nah, let's 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 not do that in the moment. Uh, are you available already? Oh crap, they're not yet here. I was thinking of those, you know, we have those coaches as a mod, but they're not unlocked yet. I'm not sure maybe they're unlocked as of year 2000. So maybe we can replace them later on, but for now, let's pick something that is fast. Something that can go up to 100 kilometers maybe? The Volvo, yeah, that can work. Although the passengers aren't really many, but I guess that's a good enough alternative. Let's have four. Creating a new line from this terminal, connecting the city there. So it's basically going that rough mountain pass here. <laughs> That's gonna look pretty exciting. I have no clue how that will work out, but we'll see. What city is that? That's uh, Clearden and Fallwald. Okay, uh, let's say coach. Clear then fall. 
default but, and then here we have to connect and create bus stops to connect them to the coach line so maybe from there we can create a stop here we can connect these to the commercial district um, there maybe here connect you also that way and that way maybe yes that kind of looks good and we also of course create two directions one one is the clockwise let's build that first like that and the other one is counterclockwise the colors look good did the colors change or something i'm liking these color combinations good so that one is fall walled bus fall walled clockwise bus fall walled counterclockwise and then let's put in some volvos again the volvos actually i i don't like as intercity trains i don't they're i don't think they're coaches but they're the fastest ones we have so i think it makes the most sense i think they're let's see low floor single deck city bus yeah it's a city bus so it should stay inside the city and not be going through mountain passes as such but fine by the way, did I assign two buses each to this line? I can't remember. Yes, I did. Alright. And everything is going negative, but hopefully that's only the beginning. Yeah, we are starting to get some passengers. So that is something that we can check out. Where are the guys? Here we go. Let's watch this guy. Going 60 kilometers an hour. And slowing down even more. Oh man, even I wouldn't go past 40 at this mountain pass <laughs> look at that how it just punched through the mountain oh my goodness let's go first person actually why not <laughs> oh now he can speed up this just feels like ts2 slowing down again yeah it's a treacherous pass I think now the I think now he's past the, the, the dangerous part. You good? Yes now he can speed up. Actually I think the load is a problem. He can go only up to 60 here. What is that? Ah yeah he can only go up to 60 because that's a small road. Right, okay. We can make that a large country road, but I doubt we can do that in the actual mountain pass. But let's try to upgrade everything else. Let's upgrade as much as we can. Yeah, that one doesn't work really. Okay, that can work. So we minimize the delay as much as we can. Oops. I might have destroyed a couple of houses why didn't that ask me to confirm <laughs> wasn't my fault that looks kind of weird now just thinning out like that but fine function over form and this one we upgrade as well good yep we're good so now these guys should be able to go up to 100 kilometers per hour perfect why are we staying on the inside lane? Hmm. Right, how are the buses? Working fine. We'll need to put in some bus lanes here. But maybe later on. There are not many cars yet anyway. It's a pretty small town. We're actually getting people now in our train. 15 people. 
Why not? Ooh, that's expensive. Two million. Negative two million. Where's our train? Line two. Oh, we haven't named our line yet. Yes, I forgot. This is the train from Springwolves to Clearden. Train, Springwolf, Clearden. Yeah, I think that's okay. Where the heck is it now? What we need here, if we're if we're thinking about only six people if we're thinking about functionality about optimization we have to have smaller shorter trains but more of them because having just one it's not gonna cut it it's not optimized let's make that high speed so it looks good But I don't want to replace that JR train. It's kind of growing on me. So I think we'll we'll uh, we'll let it be. We'll we'll not worry about optimization as much as long as it looks good. Love the sound of that. Amazing mod. I like it. Good. How many people? Forty-seven. Not so full, but I guess it's working. Yeah, later on we'll fix that. Ooh, we're actually getting a lot of people in here. Nice. That was fast. That actually is going faster than the than in Clearden, where we ha still have barely any people. But that might be the number of people in here. Population is 212. Population in this one is... 212 as well, so I'm not sure why it's working more here. Maybe by, because the buildings are more compact. And so, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I wish there was a country road where they could go like up to 100. Because these ones aren't look, looking really good for country roads like this doesn't fit so much I would rather have the like the single carriageway types but uh, because of their speed limit I have to do something else anyway all right good to go I think that is gonna be it for this episode guys we have extended our network to two different cities and we've created a new line to do it. So if someone from... What is that? Springwell or in Old Ash wants to ride to Clearden, they would have to go to Springwolf, transfer trains, and then do that. Yeah? Which is kind of realistic, I guess. And then here, we can continue this line to Lockwin. Maybe we can still do that. How are things doing here? Look at that madness. So many people. I think you guys need a bendy bus. You guys need a bendy bus. Unless that's because of traffic. Let's have a look at the overlay. Uh, traffic. No, everything is still green. Except there. Oh, but that's fine. Just a bus stopping. Yeah, it's, it's the... We need the uh, bendy buses here. Where are you? 60 passengers, not so much. 25 should be okay. Yeah, good. Let's just wait for one to, to transform. Okay, this one. This one looks like a winner. There we go. Oh, beautiful. I really like that color combination. It looks so clean. It looks so professional. Nice. I like it. Alright, so I'll leave it there for now, guys. One last look. We actually have 19 people now going to, to our Japan line, I could say. 
coach. No, not, that's not that one. And this train has 45 people. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere. All right. Maybe next episode we can we can make that earn some money, that line. But we'll see. We are getting so many passengers here though for the coach. Wow. Cool. Cool stuff. Right, we're getting our first few passengers in here. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm really excited to get the, the coaches. Once that unlocks, we'll replace this with proper coaches. Like fern bus. Fern buses and uh, flex buses. Yeah, that's a full bus, definitely. Nice. Alright. Anyway. Alright. <laughs> I'll stop there for now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates. And any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Anyway, thank you for watching. And see you in the next one. I really love that. The water effect with the bridge we're looking so good oh yeah 26 not too shabby anyway thank you for watching guys and have a nice day see you in the next one i am doing advanced recording by the way I, i'll probably be out by the time you watch this I'll, i'm out for three weeks because i have work and i have a trip with my wife so thanks for watching and I'll try to prepare some videos in advance in the meantime. Probably not daily videos, but every other day, hopefully. We'll see. Thanks and bye-bye. Catch you next time.